And a warning here, this report from our Middle East correspondent Alistair Bunkle contains images of some of those who have been killed. When aid agencies warn that Gaza's hospitals are barely functioning, this is what they mean. <coughs> the wounded lie on thin mattresses wherever there is space. The empty stares and emotionless eyes tell stories where words have failed. There is the occasional cry or groan of pain, but mostly people are silent, dazed, numb to this catastrophic war. Israeli forces entered this hospital last week. They arrested around 100 people, including many of the medical staff. They are accused of being terrorists. The IDF released this video of weapons they claim to have found there. Now, only a few doctors remain to care for hundreds of patients and in these conditions. Surgical gloves, pools of iodine and medicine packets lie scattered on the surgery floors. Soiled gowns and blankets are piled in heaps on the edges of the corridors. The storeroom has been left ransacked. Everything we ever built, they burnt to the ground, this doctor tells us. They set our hearts on fire. They killed my son. Outside, the never-ending buzz of Israeli drones continues in the skies overhead and a few people wander through the besieged wasteland. What hasn't been buried under the rubble has fled elsewhere. Israel has ordered everyone to leave here. Many have, but the cost of staying, the price of defiance, is laid out here, strapped onto a wooden cart and ready for burial. Life in northern Gaza is gradually being silenced. <laughs> Alistair Bunkle, Sky News in Jerusalem.